Hi guys, Times journalist Philip Collins hit the nail squarely on the head when he appeared on the Sophie Rich show on Sky News. Now, some months back, Lee Anderson, the deputy leader of the Conservative Party, explained in an interview how the next election will compare to the last. The Tories can't win on Brexit or on Boris. They need something else. Anderson said that the culture war, or woke, will be what will save the Tories. Not the NHS, not the economy, not education, not housing, but woke. So perhaps learning from 2019 and trying to emulate it, woke is the new Brexit. Have a listen. What woke is doing politically is it's replacing Brexit because the, the Tory party has been psychologically reliant on Brexit over its campaigning tool. It's got nothing else to say. Mm. Nothing else can unite its coalitions. It's got to invent things. And so they're constantly, I mean, literally imagining things are happening out there and then, then scrapping them and arguing about them. And that's why I think they were indulgent this week. That's why I think they're, they're not choosing to lose well. They're choosing to lose badly. And this makes so much sense. If we compare 2019 to 2016, Boris Johnson and the, the Brexiteers at the time were talking about how if we leave the European Union, there'll be these wonderful sunlit uplands. If we uh, leave the European Union, everything will be wonderful. Everything will be great. This will resolve a lot of problems. And it was repeated in 2019. Get Brexit done. It will resolve the problems that ordinary people face. Now, at, back in 2016, nobody could actually explain what Brexit was all about. We just need to vote. We just need to get out. Then everything will be wonderful. But they couldn't explain whether it meant leaving the single market or remaining in the single market because you had competing positions from different Brexiteers. Some were saying that Britain would be like Norway. Britain would be like Switzerland. Britain would be like neither of those two countries. So nobody actually knew <laughs> what Brexit was all about, what Brexit would actually deliver. Now, the people who were warning against Brexit were proven to be correct in many cases. It would be a disaster, and it has been a disaster. But the people pushing it obviously had no idea what it actually meant. In the same way, when it comes to woke, ask the people who are saying, we need to stop woke, I'm anti-woke, uh, the wokeness has taken over Britain or whatever. Ask these people what actually woke means, because none of them will actually be able to explain it to you. But it's not important. They just have to be against it. In the same way as you just have to be supportive of Brexit in order to succeed in politics, you just have to be against woke in order to succeed in politics for the Conservative Party. So the Conservatives have thrown everything onto this bandwagon. So Brexit was the bandwagon in 2016 and in 2019. Now it's something else. It seems to be the culture war. Because as Lee Anderson said before, the Conservatives haven't a hope of winning on the economy, on the NHS, on schools, on uh, housing, any of these main issues, cost of living. They can't win on any of these issues, so they have to invent a new one and convince the public through their friends in the media that this is the primary concern of people. Even the immigration is falling by the wayside because Rishi Sunak has put so much effort into stopping the boats politically that... Uh, Obviously, it, it hasn't succeeded. It can't succeed. So instead, they switched the narrative to woke, to culture wars. And we heard, it, uh, we heard a lot of that at the, at the party conference this week. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.